Imagine selling one of the most famous landmarks in the world. Not just any landmark, but the Eiffel Tower itself. Sounds impossible, right? But yes, it did happen. Today, we tell the extraordinary tale of Victor Lustig, the mastermind con artist who sold the Eiffel Tower. Not once, but twice. Strap in as we unfold one of the most audacious scams in history. The year is 1925. The Roaring Twenties are in full swing with jazz, flappers, and an air of post-war freedom sweeping through the streets of Paris. Amidst this cultural explosion, the Eiffel Tower stands tall, a marvel that had been initially criticized for its design, but had grown to symbolize Paris itself. Enter Victor Lustig, born in Austria-Hungary, now strolling through Paris with a plan brewing in his mind. Lustig was not just any con artist. He was a man of intellect fluent in multiple languages, with a charming aura that could deceive even the most cautious. Lustig's idea stemmed from a newspaper article noting the high cost of maintaining the Eiffel Tower. Even though it was a beloved icon, it was originally intended to be temporary. Lustig, with a mind that thrived on manipulation, saw an opportunity. He meticulously forged government documents and crafted an identity as the Deputy Director General of the Ministère de Poste, a telegraph. He targeted six scrap metal dealers, reputable men who would jump at a government contract. Gentlemen, due to the economic burden, the government has decided to dismantle the Eiffel Tower. We seek bids for its demolition. This information is highly confidential, and we trust your discretion. Could these seasoned businessmen believe such a proposition? Absolutely. The promise of vast profits from the metal of the iconic tower clouded their judgment. Lustig's confidence and the authenticity of his documents left little room for doubt. After a series of secret meetings and careful deliberations, one of the dealers, André Poisson, decided to bite. Poisson was anxious to make a name for himself and saw this as the perfect opportunity. However, his wife was skeptical. This seems too good to be true, André. Are you sure this man is who he says he is? Doubt crept in, but Lustig was one step ahead. He confessed to Poisson that he was a mere government official, struggling to make ends meet, hinting at a bribe. This transparency paradoxically built trust, and Poisson paid up, hoping to secure the deal. With the money in hand, Lustig and his accomplice, a man named Dan Collins, vanished into thin air. Poisson, embarrassed by his gullibility, refrained from going to the police. He feared the publicity of such a scandal more than the loss of his money. Could Lustig let go of a scheme that had worked so beautifully? No. With unimaginable audacity, he returned to Paris six months later to sell the tower once again. This time, however, his luck ran out. The potential buyer was more cautious and contacted the police. Lustig narrowly escaped to the United States, where his life of crime would continue until his eventual arrest for counterfeiting. Victor Lustig's story is a fascinating glimpse into the world of historical scams, showing us the incredible length some will go for wealth and deception. His tale challenges our perception of what is possible, blurring the lines between audacity and reality. Thank you for joining us for this unbelievable journey into the past. If you love discovering this gem of history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.